Good morning, everybody. This is your girl. You know the one. Bug eye. Betty. Look, y'all, I want to talk about this right here. Y'all know uh, Halloween is right around the corner. And some of these little babies is going to want the trick or treat. Now, I, I propose this question right here. Did you trick or treat as a child? What make you think your children don't want to trick or treat? Is it because people are so evil? Well, could be because they're evil. But some of y'all trying to use the church as a cover up. Now, I know for me, I went trick-or-treating when I was little. And my mama and them always went to church. But we still went trick-or-treating. It wasn't so demonic when I was little. And yeah, they were doing stuff, uh, you know, to the apples and everything and and um so but we, but we you know we didn't ever get that kind of stuff because we didn't go all these different places to get the candy uh but now y'all want to you be so say sanctified and filled with the holy ghost that you won't don't want your children to experience um trick or treat well, I said this right here. Then you need to buy a bunch of candy. Let your children dress up. Go outside and let them walk around the house and ring the doorbell to all the candy gone. If you don't want them to trick or treat with their friends or in the neighborhood, do that. Don't deprive these children of the things that you enjoyed when you grew up. And ain't no need for you to sit there with your say sanctified behind and act like you didn't enjoy trick-or-treat. Because you trick-or-treated up until you was about 16. I'm just saying. Some of you did. I stopped before I got 16. But I sure enjoyed myself to the fullest. From whatever age I started, to the age I finished. I'm just saying, don't deprive your children, people. It ain't good for them. And then y'all want to y'all want to substitute and have the hallelujah treat down at the church. Well, you know, hey, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, but y'all, you know, you got some crazy people in the church too. I'm just saying. So my best bet is for you to just buy some candy and let your children walk around your house and, and rain the doorbells. Trick or treat, and then you act surprised. Ooh, yo, out, you, oh, your costume's so cute. Uh, I'm just saying, y'all need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Holla.